Hey everyone, I'm back with another grow light. This one is from Jatika. It's another LED grow light. Uh, comes in a nice compact box. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open it right away here. Uh, so, trying to set you up there so you can see better, but. Um, all right, I got everything out of the box. Um, so it's a full spectrum grow light. Um, it comes with eight pieces of this double-sided tape. Um, and then it's four grow light strips. Um, and a bunch of cable ties. There's actually a bunch of screws in here so you can make it a more fixed um, light. It also comes with a bunch of zip ties um, and a user manual, but you can kind of see here that there's screwing points. Um, so the thing with this one is it, I can see, obviously doesn't have a stand with it. Um, so this would be better if you have like a greenhouse or like a fixed point in your house that you're putting plants that you can kind of screw this into the wall. Um, we're going to go ahead and take off this wrap here. Um, it does have three lighting modes. So it has red, blue, and full spectrum. Um, so red is for photosynthesis, germination, and flowering. Blue is chlorophyll synthesis and green leaf growth. Or you can do the full spectrum so it's more like real sun. Um, so the only thing I can think of is if you're working on germanium, maybe you'd want more of the red light. But once they're up, you might want more of the blue light, and then once they're actually growing, you want both. Um, you can dim it in levels of 20%, so 20, 40, 60, 80, or 100. Um, and then it has a timer for three, six, or 12 hours. And then obviously the lighting modes, um, and it has a one year warranty. Um, but use indoor only. So we're going to go ahead and just try this out since I'll try and show you part of the light here. Um, so you can see like one strip here. Um, so it's not the most user friendly if you want to say that because it's just these strips. Um, what I'm going to do is show you my super messy house now, but we started some peppers right over there. So I'm actually thinking of just laying these across to start to get germination going. Um, and then in a little bit, we have a shelved greenhouse. Um, so I might just put these like on the top shelf um, to provide a little bit of extra heat in there uh, because we're just limited in our house. We don't have a lot of natural sunlight um, and we start a lot of plants. So anyway, a lot of backstory there for you. I'm going to plug this in and we'll show you some of the different lighting modes. Um, so this one does come with a standard plug, which is nice that you don't have to use uh, a USB converter. And then it just plugs right in. And then you can see the remote lights up here. So this is our dimming mode. We can switch with the timers here. Um, and then we have our power button. So I'm going to do ooh, power. Maybe you shouldn't have had these angled up at my face when I turned it on. Um, but it's kind of crazy how it gives you the lines there, but that allows you to see the blue and the white and the red lights. Um, so then if I switch, we have, I'm assuming that is, oh, here's blue and red, and that is full spectrum. Um, so, all lights on, full spectrum light is, so this is all lights on, this is the full spectrum light on, and this is blue and red. Um, so, I don't entirely understand, I guess, why you'd want just this one ever then. I would think you'd probably either want this one or the full spectrum. Um, anyway, once we have that, you can see kind of the different levels of brightness here. Back to the 
just barely on. I'm going to leave it on this just so I, you can maybe see me a little bit, but you can still kind of see the lines there. Um, and that was done with this top button here. You can also do the timer, um, and that'll light up. That one says three hour. Uh, I can hit it again, and it'll go to six hour. Hit it again, and it'll go to 12 hour. Um, and I believe it'll just stay on there. I don't think you have to hold it down or anything. Um, like I said, this one does have the screw holes, so it's kind of a more permanent fixture. Or like I said, I might just lay it over the top of our containers to help with germination. But obviously we'll have to lift that up as soon as anything starts growing. Um, and it does come with eight pieces of this double-sided tape, but it does say to replace that regularly. Um, It doesn't say how regularly, it just says regularly. So um, I would rely more on either the zip ties or the screws to hold it up. Um, otherwise, it is super lightweight, so it'll take like nothing to hold it up. Um, I like that it's LED because it uses very little electricity. And I like that it has the full spectrum of lights and you can actually see the red and the blue light. Um, fairly affordable, I don't remember the price offhand. But I'll have a link below if you want to check it out or head over to our blog to read the full review. Otherwise, hopefully this helps you. Uh, you can check out our other Grow Light reviews. We have four different ones now. So be sure to check those out if you're looking to compare the different options of lights. We have one with a tripod, one with a clip, um, stuff like that. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.